Today you will get the ChatGPT Earthquake Edition. It's a script that will blow your mind. Look at this. Just open this batch file, enter your topic. In seconds, this script will search the web for the latest articles about your topic. It will create bullet point summaries. It's like a research. Then it will generate a lot of content ideas for you and Twitter tweet ideas. Then you will have this simple, nice PDF report with cost estimations. Not only that, today we have a big surprise, something really special. So stay tuned, this video has no ads, just pure value, so keep watching. Okay, so let's start and see how to set up the script in one minute. Step number one, in case you don't have Python installed on your PC, just go to Google, search for Python download, open the first link, and simply download Python and install. And make sure while installing to tick the Add to Path checkbox to make things a lot easier for you later. Step two is to download the script files. In the description below, you'll find a link where you can download the script. It's totally free, open source, it's for you. Download, extract a zip file, and open the folder. Step three, open the AI script and simply put your OpenAI API key. In case you don't have one, just sign up, go to your account and create an API key and paste it here. It's super simple. Step number four, run the batch file. You can see this runme.bat, just double click. And what's nice today, I created this script in a way everything will be installed automatically. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just wait for the requirements to be installed and then it will ask you to enter a topic. Let's say ChatGPT tricks. Enter and you can see the magic. On the screen, you will see the details, summaries, content ideas, tweets, a lot more. Now, let's go behind the scenes and see what's happening in the code in like one minute. So app.py is the main Python script we are using here. Step one is we are searching Google. I'm running this function and the topic is the user input that you want and we are extracting the top Google results. Then I will loop through these results and then I will extract the articles from each result. So I'm reading the article, the blog post of each result. Then what I'm doing is I'm creating a summary for each article but not any summary, a bullet point summary. Then what I'm doing is I'm generating content ideas based on these bullet point summaries, then generating tweets. And while I'm doing this, I'm calculating the tokens so I can at the end calculate the estimated costs of this script. This is very important. We can know how much you are going to pay for OpenAI for running this script. It's very cheap, by the way. And then I'm generating PDF report to make things simple and clean. You can see here the prompts file. We have some prompts I'm using. You can change them if you want. We have the report function. If you want to change also the PDF report function and the scraper where I'm scraping Google results. It's very simple. In this script, I'm using mainly two concepts we learned before in the prompt engineering series. I'm using chaining. So we have here the bullet summary. It is chained in the other functions. We are chaining output in the input of the second function and so on. We explained this in the last video. And the second idea is combining an external function like Google search with ChatGPT to get the latest updates so we can power ChatGPT with live data instead of old data before 2021 as OpenAI states. Now this project is a very small, tiny part of my new open source library that I'm developing right now. It's called the One Shot GPT. I'm trying to make it number one automation GPT library on the internet. It will be free, open source, anyone can use. So stay tuned, big news is coming soon. And if you wanna be updated, you can follow up on Twitter or join my newsletter. And don't worry, I will not spam you. I send only one valuable email per week maximum. Now, going back to our script, I wanna share with you two things that you can update directly in the scraper file 
here you can see I am extracting only the top five results from Google to make the function or the script run faster. You can change this if you want to 10 to get more results and more ideas and more tweets and so on. And in the AI file here, you can see here the selected model. It's set to GPT 3.5 Turbo, the chat GPT model. You can simply change this to GPT 4 if you want to use the GPT 4 model. But in case you change this, you have to know something that the calculation function here the estimate cost will not work properly because this is a function based on the price of GPT 3.5 so if you want to change to GPT 4 and you want the estimation cost to work you have to change also the estimated cost function and one last tip before the surprise for today is you can turn these scripts into an online business mainly in two ways you can provide the freelancing services for your clients to automate their workflows using ChatGPT and Python scripting. And the second way is you can build online tools with these scripts and monetize them. Maybe you are thinking, yes, I can do this, but requires a lot of skills like learning Python and technical skills and so on. Why not? Instead of watching hours of Netflix and YouTube and wasting your time, dedicate one, two hours every day to learn something new. Believe me, in like two, three weeks, you can do all this. You can learn Python scripting and learn how to integrate with APIs and then build these scripts and create your own workflows. And what's nice, I'm here to help. The surprise for today is that I just published my new forum. You can get free support in prompt engineering and Python and chat GPT and building APIs and marketing automation and other stuff. I'll be there on the forum, discuss with you to answer your questions almost every single day. So you have discussion forum, free support, and you have free courses. You can start with this video here to learn prompt engineering, Python, and much more totally for free. Just learn if you have questions, Go to the forum, I'll be here to help you. I don't know if there's something more to do. Just take action and see you soon.